Hello, beta. Good evening, everyone. Beta, welcome to the new series that I am starting from today. ये completely new journey होगी आप लोगों के लिए where we will be going together and we will be studying the entire mathematical methods for economics. Mathematical methods of economics. In short, as we call it as MME one. MME one. ठीक है बेटा. The book that I will be following in this throughout that would be Sid Sater and Hammond. Right. I will be going ahead and doing each and every section of Sid Sater and Hammond. Sid Sater and Hammond में जितने sections हैं जो भी है उसके अंदर मैं वो सब कुछ आपको explain करने वाली हूँ in the upcoming sections. In these sections, I will be clearly mentioning. Video के आगे मैं आपको बताऊंगी कि मैं किस section को refer कर रही हूँ और for more understanding ये जो हमारी book रहेगी mathematical methods of economics at Sater and Hammond की I will also be posting that on our app. तो ये जो हमारी बुक है यू कैन गो हेड एंड यू कैन गेट एक्सेस टू दिस बुक एंड ऑन दी अर्था पॉइंट एप एट द सेम टाइम बेटा वॉट एवर नोट आई हैव रिटर्न जो भी नोट इसमें यूज हो रहे हैं दो नोट विल ऑल्सो बी अवेलेबल फॉर योर यूजेज ऑन द अर्था पॉइंट एप्लीकेशन तो ऑल ऑफ यू गो हेड एंड जस्ट डाउनलोड दिस एप and stay with me throughout the year as i go ahead and i try to complete this book with you theek hai beta theek hai beta so today i am going to just start with this and aaj ka jo hamara topic rahega that would be section 1.2 of sid sater and hammond acha this section 1.2 this is a very theoretical section although maths completely is a practical subject जस्ट दैट ये वाला जो सेक्शन है ये जो हमारा फर्स्ट सेक्शन है इट इज वेरी वेरी थियोरेटिकल इन नेचर तो दिस बेसिकली गोज अहेड इन सेज की मैथ्स पढ़नी क्यों है वाई वी हैव टू स्टडी मैथ्स राइट क्यों हम मैथमेटिकल मेथड ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स के पीछे पड़े हुए हैं वाई आर वी रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन इन स्टडिंग मैथ्स दैट इज वॉट दिस सेक्शन इज अबाउट ठीक है तो दिस सेक्शन गोज अहेड एंड सेज कि वॉट इज द इकोनॉम वॉट इज द साइंटिफिक मेथड यूज इन इकोनॉमिक्स मतलब अगर मेरे को इकोनॉमिक्स को एज अ साइंस बताना हो बेटा मेनी ऑफ यू विल बी डूइंग मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स आपको पता होगा कि जब हम इंडिया के बाहर मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स के लिए अप्लाई करते हैं तो अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स हमारा जो डिग्री रहता है दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एज एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स हम एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स बोलते हैं राइट सो बेसिकली अवर एम इज टू गो अड एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हम इकोनॉमिक्स को साइंस से कैसे लिंक कर सकते हैं एंड वॉट इज द साइंस यूज बिहाइंड इकोनॉमिक्स ये सेक्शन उसके बारे में दिस इज वॉट दिस सेक्शन टेल्स नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कि इकोनॉमिक्स इज कॉल्ड एज इम्पीरिकल साइंस इम्पीरिकल मीन्स इम तो जो भी जब भी हम रिसर्च दिखते हैं उसमें हम हमेशा बोलते हैं इम्पीरिकल डेटा शोज That means past data shows. तो empirical data basically empirical science का ये मतलब है कि जिस भी चीज को हम data के through explain कर सकते हैं anything that can be explained through data that is called as empirical science. This is for example, if I tell you की variable x and y are given to me, when x is टू y is फोर when x is फोर y is एट when x is एट y is सिक्सटीन तो आई एम एबल टू गो अड एंड आई एम एबल टू सी दैट वाई इज टू टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स राइट आई एम एबल टू ऑल्सो सी कि वाई एंड एक्स में देर इज अ पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप देर इज अ पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप जैसे जैसे एक्स बढ़ रहा है एज एक्स इज इंक्रीजिंग वाई इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग वाई भी बढ़ रहा है so anything that can be explained by data agar hum kisi bhi cheez ko data ko pad ke explain kar pa rahe hain by looking at the data if i am able to go ahead and interpret that data and i am able to understand it through the data then we go ahead and we call that as 
empirical science because we are explaining it using data. हम उसको डेटा के थ्रू एक्सप्लेन करें सो सिंस इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी लुक एट द डेटा एंड बाय लुकिंग एट डेटा वी स्टार्ट इंटरप्रेटिंग अच्छा इफ आई हैव अ डिमांड स्केड्यूल अगर मेरे पास एक डिमांड का स्केड्यूल हो जाए जिसमें आई गोड इन टेल यू की बेटा दिस इज प्राइस एंड दिस इज क्वान्टिटी एंड आई टेल यू की अच्छा अच्छा प्राइस टेन क्वान्टिटी ट्वेंटी प्राइस ट्वेंटी क्वान्टिटी टेन प्राइस थर्टी क्वान्टिटी फाइव तो आई एम एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इसके थ्रू दैट एज माई प्राइज इज इंक्रीजिंग माई क्वांटिटी इज डिक्रीजिंग राइट सो आई एम एबल टू इंटरप्रेट द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड हम जो लॉ ऑफ डिमांड पढ़ते आते हैं वॉट एवर लॉ ऑफ डिमांड वी स्टडी विच सजेस्ट दैट देयर इज इन वर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन प्राइज एंड क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड वी आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट लॉ ऑफ डिमांड थ्रू दिस डेटा हमें ये डेटा के थ्रू समझ में आ रहा है वी आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड थ्रू डेटा राइट सो वेन वी गो हेड एंड वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इंपीरिकल साइंस वाई आर वी कॉलिंग इट वेन वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इकोनॉमिक्स थ्रू डेटा इट बिकम्स इंपीरिकल साइंस ओके ना there are mainly five main steps involved in this empirical science it five main steps hain jo hum isme include karte hain five main steps included the first step that we have beta that is called as collection of data sabse pehle hame data ko collect karna hai we need to collect the data the data that we are collecting it can be qualitative or it can be quantitative right for example i know that i know that there is an inverse relationship between the law uh, between demand and price there is an inverse relationship between demand and price but aisa kabhi to hua hoga ki ye relationship known nahi hoga there might have been some time aisa koi ek time life mein raha hoga when people didn't know about the law of demand unhe law ke bare mein bilkul nahi pata hoga ki law of demand kya hota hai to us time pe suppose mujhe ye relationship nahi pata i don't know the relationship i don't know law of demand mujhe ye law of demand nahi pata ab kya hua i run a store us store mein mere paas ek product hai and i started seeing ki as i increase the price of my product jaise jaise main apne product ka price badha rahi hu the quantity is continuously decreasing mere product ki quantity girti ja rahi hai as i am increasing the price of my product the quantity demanded is continuously decreasing right so this is giving me a hint ki acha as price increases quantity demanded decreases and how do i know about it by collecting quantitative data right so the first step is the collection of the data collection of data may data can be either qualitative or quantitative this is an example of collecting the quantitative data ki i am collecting the data at different prices what is the quantity demanded alag alag price pe kya kya quantity demand ho rahi hai iska maine data collect kiya and after collecting this data main isko analyze karunga i will try to analyze it. now the second thing that i have that is called as qualitative data collection to so qualitative data collection mein what are we doing beta this i have a store i announce that price is 10 and then i see how many people visit my store bahut sara bheed lag gayi people form a queue there are many people who are visiting the store when my price is 10 now what i do i just go ahead and i announce acha acha no price is 20 and now i see oh less people are visiting my store only four people are visiting my store so this is a qualitative data i am not finding the quantity sold i am just looking at quality and trying to see how much is the crowd samajh lo maine koi quantity sold nahi dekha maine sirf ye dekha acha kitni bheed hai what is the crowd how much is the crowd and based on the crowd i am thinking oh when i lowered when i increased the price the number of people are decreasing 
right? So this is a qualitative analysis. So the first thing that we go ahead and we do is we collect the data. The data can be qualitative or the data can be quantitative. The second step that we go ahead and do beta, that is called as numerical and statistical processing of observed of the observed data. Mane ki I have got that at price 10, yera mera quantity. At price 20, yera mera quantity. At price 30, this is my quantity. So at different prices, I have found out different quantity. Alag alag price, but I alag alag quantity. Ko diya. Now I will process this. Ki, okay, when I changed my price by 10 rupees, when I increased my price by 10 rupees, by how much did my quantity fail? Earlier, people were demanding 100 units, now 80 units. So 80 minus 100, that means minus 20. So quantity reduced by 20 units, right? So when I increase my price by 10 rupees plus 10, quantity decreases by 20 units minus 20. This relationship that what is the change in quantity when there is change in price is processing the data. Yahan pe aap data ko process kar rahe ho. Finding elasticity. All of you have heard the word elasticity. So finding elasticity of demand is processing the data. Usko data processing bolte hai. Right? So when we go ahead and when we process the data, ki achha, jab price itne se change hua, to quantity kitne se change hogi. That is the second thing that we perform. The third thing that we go ahead and do beta, usko bula jata hai, constructing theoretical model. Constructing theoretical model. Thik hai, ab hume samaj mein a gaya, that when we increased the price by 10 rupees, my quantity decreased by 20. So, when there is increase in price, there is decrease in the quantity. When we go ahead and we construct a model around it, if I write in language, if I make a model around it, if I make a model around it, if I make a mathematical model around it, see, our change in quantity is minus 2 change in P. है. Then here I have created a model, a theoretical model, that when the price will increase from 10, then the quantity will reduce from 20. So, when I create a relationship, a theoretical relationship, try to understand this thing. Jab make relationship bana do, just say for example, if I make something like this, beta, ki dekho, the quantity demanded, this is going to be 40 minus 8p. When I go ahead and when I form this kind of relationship, jab main ek aisa relationship likh leti hun, when I write an equation, this equation is showing inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Then this is basically going ahead and creating a model. This is telling me, one, that there is inverse relationship, Mane law of demand. And secondly, based on the data points mujhe diye hue the, based on the data points I have, based on the price quantity combination I have, yahan par maine ek equation likh diya hai. I have gone ahead and I have written an equation out of it. Thik hai? So this is called as constructing the model. Thik hai? This fourth step is using theory to make prediction. Ab ye model to mere paas a gaya. I have got this model. Now, if the future ne, suppose after getting this model, koi aap se hai ki, hai. in 2025, I am going to keep the price at 10 rupees. Can you tell me how many quantity I will be able to sell? Main kitna sell kar paunga? So it will be 100 minus 4 into 10. That means 100 minus 40. That means 60. Right. So basically what this is doing now, this is using theory to derive prediction. You are predicting the future. Aap future ko bata rahe ho ki dekho, jab price 10 hoga, to aapka jo quantity rahega, that would be 60. So when you use, you know, the equation, jo bhi aapne equation ye derive ki hai, to go ahead and predict the future, that is step number 4. Now, whenever you will be doing this prediction, jabhi bhi aap ye prediction karoge, there will be some error. 
अब एक्चुअल में जब हम 2025 में सपोज पहुंचेंगे व्हेन वी विल रीच 2025 तो इट इज पॉसिबल ना कि एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी सोल्ड विल ओनली बी 40 यूनिट्स और ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी सोल्ड विल बी 70 तो जो हमने प्रेडिक्शन की थी बेस्ड ऑन आवर मॉडल व्हाट एवर प्रेडिक्शन वी हैड मेड इट इज पॉसिबल दैट यू कैन सेल लेस और मोर देन दैट आप उससे ज्यादा भी बेच सकते हो और उससे कम भी बेच सकते हो are you understanding this so there is some error that you might be committing and based on that error jo bhi error aap commit kar rahe ho you can go ahead and you can correct your model aap apne model ko correct kar sakte ho you can improve on your model right so the fifth step the last step that we have here that is basically correcting and improving the model usme hum model ko correct karke usko improve karte hain so these are the five steps that we have the first step is beta where you go ahead and you collect the data. Aap sab se pehle data ko collect karoge. Then you will go ahead and you will do numerical and statistical processing of the data. Aap data ko process karoge. Then you will go ahead and you will construct a model around it. Aap uske around model banaoge. You will use that model for the purpose of prediction. Uske through aap predictions karoge. And ultimately you will go ahead and you will be correcting your model. You will be improving your model is this clear okay beta thank you so this is section 1.2 of sid sater and hammond ek bari main dobara repeat kar deti hu aap logo ke liye puri book jaise jaise hum karte jayenge puri sid sater and hammond ke notes artha point app par available ho jayenge and at the same time i will try ki chapter by chapter i will also scan the book and i will share that book pages also on this app so I wish to, um, you know, see all of you uh, joining this course with me and doing this course along with me. Okay, beta. I will see you in the next lecture now. Thank you.